Hi and welcome to another Type with me. In today's video I want to talk about the difference between signals and observables and uh, in Angular. Right? So a signal is a wrapper around a value that can notify interested consumers when that value changes. Signals can contain any value from simple primitives to complex data structures. Um, signal is a new concept within Angular 16 and I'm now going to explain you how you could use that within your Angular application and we will of course look into the differences between an observable. Of course we start with a normal um, property called answer and we're going to create a signal out of it right so it's going to become a signal and now we're going to update the import of a signal and then I'm going to do something like this answer and then this one equals from and then of course we're doing something like this or two, and this will be a RxJS, an observable, right? And now I'm gonna do something like this constructor, and we're going to print out the values of it, right? So console dot log this dot answer. Here we are, and here we have something like this, answer dot subscribe. All right. Right, so I'm still going to change this one. All right. And now we see here that he has printing out 42 and 42. So these are two ways to um, yeah, print out the value, right? So observables stand out here because we need to subscribe on it to get really a value out of it. And here with the signal, we just need to do this dot answer and we get our signal out, right? So that's one of the fundamental changes and differences of a signal versus an observable. So if you look into it, you see here that signals is a bucket, right? And observables are like a pipe. Uh, so a bucket, yeah, just with one value in that bucket and a pipe with multiple values that go through that pipe. And of course, to uh, for you to get value out of that pipe is something that is of a different um, yeah, paradigm that you need to know uh, versus the signals that just that bucket with that value. And if you change uh, what is in that bucket, well, you change that, but you cannot go uh, into the history of the pipe. And with observables, that's a little bit different, right? Of course, if you want to change, for example, uh, some kind of the value um, of a bucket versus that of a observable, an observable you can go to the pipe and then do a lot of uh, recalculations on that within the signal you can also update it but we'll see that maybe later on in this video right to bring this to an extra level we can indeed very easily um, do something like this compute and then we have this dot counter and we have a value 
same here and the same here um, and then I also created a button update where I do this.counter.update and I update the value of the counter and of course um, your reactive components that can compute upon the value of this.counter uh, will be updated right here. So one of the things that's very important to know is that um, here when you want to uh, display um, yeah, your value you need to call of course the, the value floor sugar butter and that's <clears throat> that's a function right so we are using it like this so whenever um, counter changed we can update that by doing something like this of course i need to do this this dot counter so whenever counter changes um, or another signal changes effect will be um, be called right create a global effect for the given reactive function right if we look into this in more depth we get this yeah i'm going to refresh it now and if i update it you'll see here that we get extra values if i go to inspect you'll see here that within console we get this well i didn't changed uh, or or saved uh, my latest update so if i now do update you see here that whenever the current count is uh, changing it also uh, the, uh, is doing a console.log right and that's what i want to show you so within the effect you can very easily use that when your single uh, is uh, changing so what you could have been done is something like this this dot butter and then equals this dot answer dot pipe map and then you have x equals zero dot one to get the same thing like the compute one right so we could then of course import that and you could then also have something like that within the answer um, thing so what we could do then is something like this butter right and we could do something like this here um, and then butter and then so adding here a pipe and then I think you need to know that this is indeed something that's very important. Um, observables need to have an asynchronous pipe and when you are using signals you are not in need of that, right? So here we are, we have your butter and we have your observable butter with uh, 0.2 and here also 0 0.2 which is great if we now do something like this update update of course this is going to update dynamically because we have our signal that is doing the update uh, with uh, our observable butter 
we don't have that we could also implement that right but again going out of scope for this video but then you see here that signals it's a bucket and observables is a pipe structure right so for most uis signals are good enough and have a smaller api footprint so i would definitely go and look into uh, signals if you are uh, an angular developer because i think it's really a big uh, advantage that it will have across uh, other um, things so maybe last uh, one last thing is that uh, view also has uh, some similar uh, things like uh, signals so they use ref eh? takes an inner value and returns a reactive and mutable ref uh, object which has a single property dot value that points to the inner value and then you have here also compute and then you can also do the same kind of thing that we have uh, with uh, angular so you will see that within uh, view but also maybe other um, front-end uh, frameworks they also use things like uh, signals or some things that can come uh, quite into that realm as well so it will be easier if you also have some knowledge of that to to use that within the new paradigm of what angular is going to bring to us so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked this video please give it a thumbs up if you like so and subscribe to the channel if you didn't do so thank you very much and see you next time